Hello friends, a statement I saw in a scientific magazine caught my attention. It goes like this, all beings in the universe are drawn towards maximum disorder and minimum energy. So I tried to research it and interpret it in my own way. When I think about it, it's impossible for some rocks to come together and form a building or for a teapot in the corner of my kitchen. One of the core principles of physics, the second law of thermodynamics or the law of entropy, already tells us that these things can't happen by themselves. Let's take a quick look at what this law means. Entropy, simply put, is maximum disorder and minimum energy. And the second law of thermodynamics tells us that entropy always increases. In other words, matter and energy are always drawn towards disorder. Let's try to understand this using an example. Imagine that you are holding a bottle of cologne. When you open its cap, you will see that the molecules that give the cologne its scent start to quickly spread around the room and, over time, the bottle will be empty. But no matter how long you wait, those molecules won't come together and return to the bottle. You will need to have an immense amount of power to collect those molecules one by one and put them back into the bottle or to hold them all together without the bottle. This example tells about being tended towards maximum disorder. When it comes to the other part of entropy, being drawn towards minimum energy, we can give this example. A container full of hot food, no matter how isolated, will get cold over time. It's tough to keep heat in one place. According to the minimum energy principle, there is always a flow of energy from a hot place towards a cold one. This tendency is so powerful that, in the real world, no matter how hard you try to contain heat, it always finds a way of getting out. The opposite of this never occurs by itself. In other words, the heat in the room can come together and cook the food. It's because of this entropic truth that, over time, buildings get old and fall, stars fade, and all living beings without exception die. According to its most fundamental rule, the universe itself is finite, and its thermal death will someday occur, and with that, all the movement within it will stop. Now, let's look at the most interesting part of all this. If a couple of atoms can come together and get into a bottle, how can the countless atoms in a living body can come together and form that living being? For example, in an average human body, there are seven octillion atoms. These atoms don't just pile up and form a mound, they form an invaluable human body that thinks and talks by staying in their designated positions and doing their tasks. Think about the first moments of the creation in a mother's womb. Think about how this incredible creation that, against all anthropic tendencies, starts from a spot of blood and step by step forms the human body. By the way, let's not overlook this. The human body doesn't only hold atoms together, but it also captures heat. Even though heat always finds a way of getting out, the body temperature is always within a certain range. When it's time to die, the heat leaves the body forever. The atoms scatter and spread worldwide. Now, let's imagine a wooded area, but the trees, instead of being scattered randomly, are forming a straight line and are well groomed. According to the rules of entropy, we will say that these trees were placed consciously by people. If even these simple designs can exist without consciousness and go against anthropic tendencies, how can the sky with its layers, the delicate ecosystems with their intricate balances, the animals, the trees? In other words, can the world exist by itself? Perhaps they result from infinite wisdom and structure, and our world is formed by infinite power. Yes, friends, the tendency to spread, decay, and lose energy is a scientific fact. What do these beings that don't disintegrate, decay, or lose energy tell us in a given amount of time? What do you think? Please subscribe to our channel and goodbye.